It's a busy shopping weekend as schools prepare to get back in session. But some local store owners are worried sales won't have the impact they did in past years. Yeah, North Carolina does not have a tax-free weekend this year. News 13's Hope Hanselman joins us. Hope it's not stopping businesses, is though, from luring people in. That's the idea. Shoppers may still be shelling out for those sales tax, but they'll find more deals all over town this weekend. Tax-free weekend was huge for us. We loved the traffic increase dramatically. Asheville store owners are working to put their best foot forward in this evolving retail market. It was great for business. We loved it. We hated to see it go. But what we have done is try to adjust. Tops for Shoes in downtown Asheville started some annual sales early and will run them longer in hopes of keeping some shoppers from straying. Yeah, I mean, it seems like they're, you know, the summer stuff is on sale, um, fall merchandise is coming out, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, it seems like there's some good deals. This is a great weekend to be shopping at Belk. We've actually made this a lot more stronger and, and really better for our customers uh, this weekend than it was last year with the tax free. Bigger stores have designed bigger sales tailored exclusively to North Carolina. Traffic is strong. I mean, if you look throughout the store, um, people are aware of it. Um, you know, they've heard about it online. And while it's not the tax break shoppers have known for more than a decade. It has seemed to, um, to have helped get our traffic up where we would like it, or at least close to where we would like it. It just may be enough to keep those dollars from crossing state lines. Time is, you know, very important to me, so I would rather just stay local and, and shop here, you know, versus the hassle of driving all the way to South Carolina. Now, tax-free weekend started at midnight last night. Shoppers will find a tax break in all states bordering North Carolina. That's South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, and Virginia.